it comes to the NFL, we try to cover just about everybody that's in the NFL. Every team, every player, uh, and, and especially everyone that, you know, that deserves the credit. And we think there's one player that we just, well, one player and one team we don't talk near enough about. And I think it's for a, be a bevy, a beve of reasons. Uh, and that, that team and player would be Jonathan Taylor and the Indianapolis Colts. Now, the thing about the Colts is when they brought in Carson Wentz, I honestly didn't know what to make of it at first. I, I thought they would definitely be a playoff team uh, and potentially be a Super Bowl caliber team if everything started clicking. But my question was, how was a, a quarterback like Carson Wentz, how was he going to come back from his years in Philadelphia? And I think he's done that to an extent here. Um, and right now, I think the Colts are a good team. I think they've got a lot of things going for them. But I also think that there's a lot of things that have to kind of go right for them to kind of make the playoffs. They've got, you know, if you look at their schedule moving forward, they've got a couple of tough games. Um... You know, obviously this one, they're playing against the Jets right now. And, you know, Jonathan Taylor has over 170 yards right now. And two touchdowns. You're definitely loving him in fantasy right now. So as it stands right now, they're probably going to move to four and five. But after that, you know, they got the Jaguars. I, I see that as a win. Um, but after that, things, you know, weeks go on and off of, of, of toughness. You talk about the Bills after the Jaguars on November 21st, um, the day after my, my wedding, by, by the way. Um, you also got the, the game against the Buccaneers the week after that. So, I mean, two tough teams. Um, you know, that potentially are probably both going to be playoff teams. And you got a game against the Texans. The Patriots are tough. Then against the Cardinals. The Raiders, we, you guys know what we think about the Raiders. They're, they're a solid team. Um, and they're definitely coming out of the AFC West right now being tough. But, you know, uh, I, I think that, honestly, the Colts deserve a lot of credit. And I think they can still make some noise uh, throughout the rest of this year. But I think that it definitely... Uh, needs to be said of how much, uh, how impressive they are. You know, uh, it, in the AFC South, there's not a ton of great competition. You got the Titans there at six and two. Obviously, the Colts there at probably, assumably at, th at four and five right now. Currently sitting at three and five um, with a what a 42 to 16 lead over. Um, over the Jets right now. Uh, then you also got the Jaguars at one and six, and the Texans at one and seven. So you know, not a great division necessarily, but the Titans are tough. Um, and I think they can make some noise and maybe uh, get in as a wild card. We don't know now. I think, what, it's seven teams this year they get in. So, I mean, it's definitely possible. The Colts are definitely in the hunt, um, and they're a tough team. Uh, I think, you know, you, you look at guys like Carson Wentz and, uh, and the rest of those boys, I think that this is going to be something very interesting. I think they can all find a way to make some noise in the playoffs. But Jonathan Taylor right now um, through um, so far in this NFL season, he has looked amazing, you know, uh, and I think, if you if you get, if you look at a guy from John, like Jonathan Taylor from last year had over 1,100 rushing yards, 11 touchdowns, also had 36 catches, um, averaging five yards a carry, five yards a carry. That's that's pretty incredible. So um, and then now, obviously playing like a top running back uh, at halfway at the halfway point through the season, uh, about nine games in after this game, he's going to have over 800 yards. Um, you know he's going to have eight touchdowns. So he's very clearly going to be. Uh, the main uh, bell cow running back for him, even though Naheem Hines is also very talented. But overall, this is just a very talented team. Uh, I do foresee the Colts uh, just all around uh, being a tough team to beat, uh, no matter who they're playing. If they can get things moving, if, if Carson Wentz can... Honestly, he doesn't need, need to be that impressive. If he can, they can get Jonathan Taylor to the football, throw a couple of first downs, throw a couple of touchdowns... In the, Carson Wentz doesn't need to be his former MVP self. He does not need to be that with the Colts. They've got a, a respectable defense. Carson Wentz is tough uh, so far, having a pretty good season. 14 touchdowns and three interceptions, uh, passing for over 1,900 yards, completing about 62% of his passes. And like we said, they've got good running backs, and Naheem Hines, also Marlon Mack, on the backfield there. And then uh, Michael Pittman, um, who honestly what, caught a couple touchdowns last year. He has 45 catches, nearly 600 yards on the season so far, not including this Jets game. This is all stats, not including this Jets game. So, uh, you know, we'll wait for the NFL to update that. But, you know, this is a good team. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch. And I think that, you know, it's all going to be led by Jonathan Taylor, who is ready to take over. That's right. Now with Derrick Henry out with the season-ending ankle injury, I think this is going to be a tough team to beat. Um, and I think, honestly, Jonathan Taylor um, could be, uh, especially since they play the Titans, I think that Jonathan Taylor could uh, be ready to take over as the leading running back in the entire NFL. A lot of things have to happen yet, but I definitely think it's possible. Let it, but let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome and we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbriefpodcast.com in the description down below. You'll find all of our social media platforms, so make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there. Uh, also, give us a listen and a follow on iTunes and also if you have anything you would like us to cover, make sure you send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below, and we'd be glad to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Indianapolis Colts and Jonathan Taylor being ready to take over.